Canary at a crazy, crazy price, so it's certainly worth joining us for. Well, talking about pies, how about we make our own? It may be the subject of our question of the week, but what pie would you like to make in the comfort of your own home? About a year and a half ago, the amazing Carrie Maletto and I premiered Holstein's awesome mini pie maker. Yes. Whether it's just you at home, whether it's you and the kids, whether you've got some fussy eaters and one wants sweet, one wants savory, one wants apple, one wants rhubarb, one wants sweet potato. <laughs> this is the most amazing little gadget um, and has brought us many happy moments at home, let yes. me tell you, Carrie. Absolutely, and I actually accidentally broke my pie. That's okay, I, I distracted you. By breaking my pie. You <laughs> guys. Like a, <laughs> you and I That's together. Okay. We got it, we got Remember it. Remember the soda stream? Yeah. <laughs> We've had We've our had fair share. Fun. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to get into this. I'll let you know that we have our red and we have our black available. It's at $19.95 with two flex pay of under $10. Uh, you know, you think about making a pie and there's a lot to talk about. The rolling, the prep, the mess, the cleanup, preheating the oven. What if we told you that you could have a pie that looks a little bit like that in, what, seven minutes? Yes, Karen? is that crazy? That's so, awesome. You know, even though Okay, I got a little aggressive and I broke this one, but look, it's still delicious and it still goes down the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's still gonna mm -hmm. taste amazing. So I just wanted to show you guys when you break them open, they've got that nice roasty toasty outside, that ooey gooey inside, which is perfect. And let me show you how easy it is to do it with the Holstein pie maker. So I'm gonna show you, you can either use pie crust from the store in the frozen food section, yes. or you can make your own pie crust. We're gonna provide you with the recipe. But all you simply do is place the bottoms in, and here we have our peach and we have our cherry filling mm, mm, mm. so all the fillings you can buy in the store already made if you like or you can make them from scratch as well because yeah. maybe you have you know pe your own peaches maybe yeah. you have cherries maybe you have like an apple tree so what's really great about this is you really can take all those fresh fruits that you have and and be creative with them here uh, but so you just fill it up here to the top then you place your tops on so I have to say Joelle helped me out here and made them really cute she actually did the little cuts here for me so it's gonna make a perfect little pie when these are finished so you place your tops on and then you do the hardest part of this entire process you <laughs> close it and you lock it and that is it because this is a non-stick top and bottom we literally know that these pies are gonna fly right out when mm -hmm. they're done and it's gonna be easy cleanup you saw how I took pies out and then just went right back and and put new pies in yes yes they really it stays very clean and even when I'm done it's a simple white process to have it finished and then you're all, you're just going. I'm you, demolishing you this, Gary. I'm sorry, I'm demolishing. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking and he's just like going crazy. It's so good though, right? Mm, 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 mm. It's so simple. This is the best thing to have around when you know that you may have those evenings where you thought about dinner, but somebody stops over, you forgot about dessert. You yeah. can have a pie completely made in seven minutes. It only takes two minutes for these to heat up. So I think that's pretty incredible. So if you forgot, just plug this in and in two minutes, you are making pies. The entire time to make these, heating up and cooking is less than your oven would take to even heat up much less anything else how true is that though and a lot of times we we sacrifice what we really want because we don't have the time or the energy or the patience yeah. to have to wait for it and to uh, to deal with it and prepare it with this it's just easy peasy we're under twenty dollars and you know it's springtime hopefully that cold weather is soon to be behind us and with our <laughs> spring home event going on at hsn it's time to start thinking about the things that we can do to just put a smile on our faces oh yeah and with our spring home event the holstein pie maker is a major major part of it holstein a major brand here at hsn as many of you know their mini pie maker has got on to be one of their favorites i have the or chelsea and i have the very the, the original version of it you're getting the newest version of it yes, sir. which is even faster which is even more convenient and honestly, it's the right size. It's a personal pie. It's a personal pie. And right now, I'm actually doing uh, our, our beef and chicken pot pies, mm. which these, let me tell you, this is the best way, besides using, you know, doing fruit pies, you can make these ahead of time, you can freeze them, and then pop them out anytime you're kind of last minute, you sure. forgot about dinner, you just need something quick and fast, and you could just heat these up. And again, they come out absolutely perfect every time. You're going to get that nice crust on the yeah. Outside and look how delicious that is. You are controlling your fillings. So what I love about this is when you buy those ones in the frozen food section, yes. you can't control what's going inside. 
nine times out of 10, lots of preservatives. Maybe you're trying to cut down on salt. Yeah. Maybe you're trying, a lot of the times they have a lot of sodium, by the yes. way, because uh, they have to preserve. Uh, but with these, you're able to do, so here I've done my own chicken pot pie. So leftovers never go to waste, ever. This is a way to take that chicken from two nights ago and make sure that it gets used. How about this? I'm gonna, we did some new pies tonight. Oh, so gosh. I haven't shared these with you at home either. But how about a shepherd's pie pie? <laughs> so I took my ground meat and yes. my favorite veggies, and then I'm gonna finish it off by topping this with my potato. Oh, how fantastic. The potato is going to be your top. So do not think that you have to top all of these. I'm gonna top the pot pie, but I'm gonna leave that one just like that. What's gonna happen is it's actually gonna cook and brown and completely create its own top. How creative is that, right? I know we're making your mouth water. I do know <laughs> that, folks, and we apologize. The reviews are fantastic. In fact, let's read a review right now from somebody that bought the Holstein Pie Maker and then decided to go online at hsn.com and share their experience. All right, here is Joanne. This is what Joanne has to say. Joanne says, uh, I'm pie-eyed over my fun pie maker. <laughs> I love my that. first pies are chicken pot pies made from homemade leftover chicken, bow tie soup. I cut out my store-bought crust and loaded the pie maker just like I saw the host do it on HSN. I made four pies, two for eating and two for freezing. My husband was very impressed. The next evening I made cherry pies. My brain is spinning with more ideas for sweet and savory creations. Well, I'm excited to say that we invited Joanne to be a part of our Monday night show and Joanne is going to be joining us live via Skype. Joanne, you're live on uh, HSN with Carrie and Adam. How are you tonight? Oh, I'm great, Adam. Thank you for having me on. I am still pie-eyed and I have made many more pies since I have written that review. Oh, oh gosh, I, well, I, I saw that. it was from a, a few months ago. Joanne, what are some of the favorites in the household then? What are your favorites now? Well, tonight for our dinner, I've made these taco pies. Taco oh my pies? Gosh, I love it. And uh, I just used some leftover chili con carne. Right. Uh, with a little bit of cheese underneath the uh, top crust. I used these uh, already. They're just about the right size, but you can trim them off a little bit and use the scraps for tortilla soup so you don't waste a thing. And uh, these little tortilla, the flour ones, are just about perfect size yeah. already and then i have homemade crust anytime i uh want a cherry pie yeah I'm, i they're in the freezer they're ready for me um all i have to do is yell pie and um, <laughs> everyone comes running <laughs> oh um, my gosh i love just, this it's such an easy cleanup i mean i can take it with me places i can store it so easily i can store it on its side you don't even have to store it sure. flat it's I love kitchen gadgets, and this is one that really works, and I didn't waste my money. I love that. Oh, Joanne, what a wonderful testimonial call. We appreciate you, and uh, from all of us at the Monday Night Show, keep enjoying those pies. Yes. I, I have a feeling we're going to talk again, Joanne. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'd be glad to. Thank you so much. Thank nice you, Joanne. Nice to talk to you. Oh, that's amazing. See? Taco pies. The ideas the that ideas. you can come up with. Your imagination is the only thing keeping you from coming up with a different kind of pie. And tonight, I already showed you just a moment ago my breakfast pies. But this, so going along with breakfast, we wanted to give you biscuits and gravy. Why not? So we did a biscuit at the bottom. So it's like those biscuits you can just pop mm -hmm. and you buy them in the cold food section. We put that at the bottom and then I put the gravy and the meat, uh, the sausage uh, inside. Yeah. And then again, just close it. No top. No top. So what's going to happen again, it's going to brown at the top and then it's going to rise. The biscuit's going to rise. But when you want to run out for breakfast real quick, there is no, I'm sorry, there is no fast food place and or frozen that's going to give you a breakfast sandwich uh -uh. more delicious than your own made pie breakfast sandwich and you can put all your little toppings in here so if you have like people visiting maybe put some you know eggs and bacon and sausage and all the different toppings and everyone can make their own in the morning always remember you don't have to fill both sides at the same time. If right. it's just yourself and you just want to make something yummy really fast, you can do that with this pie maker and just fill one side. But you can fill both sides, save the other one for later, sure. or share, as I like to say. Oh, yeah, we're sharing when I'm there, Carrie. That's I the know, thing. I know. Because, look, the, 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 the truth of the matter is the pies, when you start making them and you realize how easy they are to make, they are very Moorish. Because just like Joanne's saying, you, you start to think, well, what could I make tomorrow mm -hmm. night? What, what could I excite the family with? What can I excite my husband? Uh, 
sat my husband or wife with tonight or tomorrow. Um, it's fun and it's easy and it's no hassle. Oh, oh. You know, I, what food is one of the great joys in life, isn't it? Yes. And who Agreed. doesn't love a good pie? Agreed. Flaky crust. Look at that. Okay, so this one you're going to laugh. So this is a hamburger pie. Oh so we gosh. actually put ground meat, ketchup, and pickles and cheese. And it sounds weird, right? It is the most delicious pie you are ever going <laughs> to And then, of course, this one's our pizza pie. So a this one's just going to be, and we're going to make one of those right now. So that's just going to be, again, you put your pie crust at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, you do a little bit of your sauce just to put down at the bottom. Okay. Yes. Then we do our, you could do pepperoni, you can do sausage, yes. you can do anything you would put on a pizza. If you want to put some mushrooms, you want to do a Hawaiian, you want to do whatever. So just think pizza. And then we just pop in some cheese because cheese is the best. You got to always do cheese. Cheese, 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 okay. glorious cheese. And then I always do a little extra on top just to make sure it gets nice and, and saucy. Okay. And then we're just going to pop these tops on and close her up. And that's it. And your pizza pies will be done again in seven minutes. Okay. We've done a bit of everything. We've had some breakfast, we've had some lunch, we've had some dinner, we're yes. making sweet pies, savory pies, we're making any kind of pie you want. For our spring home event, it is under $20 with a flex pay of less than 10 to get it home. It's one of Holstein's most popular yeah. items. Carry final few moments. Final few moments. Hey, look, I want to show you something. You see how this one kind of like, it went a little crazy yes, on the yes. side? Do you see how fast that just came off and then these pieces just come right off? Non-stick means you're going to keep popping out pies super easy without a mess. I love that about this. Thank you, Carrie Miller. So we love you. Thank you.